All right, I've got about 30 bucks here in cash, and I am just tossing it into the trash can. What do you think about that? Well, that is what you are doing every month in your uh, broadband connection, potentially, and this video is going to show you how you can save $30 a month. Specifically, I'm going to walk you through this uh, program that's uh, apparently there's a huge amount of federal money out there as of the making of this video that is designated for COVID relief. And specifically, part of that money can be uh, or has been allocated for um, broadband internet connectivity. And there are certain eligibility requirements for you. Uh, and you may not qualify, but you might be surprised, especially if you have children, for example, like we do, there was uh, a criteria there in which we became uh, eligible. So I'm going to walk you through how you can apply for this, and uh, we're going to look, look at the website together, and uh, I'm going to show you kind of what this is about according to everything that I've researched on on my end. So we're going to go through some of these, uh, the, the fine print together. I'll put a link in the description below. You can read everything on your own. It's all pretty straightforward, I would say. But uh, the, the idea here is that this benefit can provide up to about 30 bucks a month toward your broadband internet service. Uh, and they'll go, there'll be some different eligibility uh, pieces for that. In addition, you can receive a one-time discount of up to 100 bucks for the purchase of technology, for the laptop, for example, for your home or whatever. So that is pretty cool. We did not take advantage of the latter, but we did the uh, the 30 bucks a month monthly um, benefit. So there are income eligibility requirements, but keep watching because just because you don't meet these income uh, requirements, and you can see the definition of the household, right? Uh, for example, a family of four, 53 is the cutoff uh, K per year. Uh, however, if you make more than that, don't be discouraged. Continue to watch this video because right here is the list. And if you take a look at these blue bullet points, this one right here uh, may be the big ticket item for you. Our kids re attend a school that receives free and reduced lunches and did so during 19, 2019 to 20, 20 to 21, and currently. So that right there is the eligibility requirement that we qualified for. If you don't have any children and you're watching this video, you might need to go through the other eligibility pieces and you might not be, uh, of course, you might not uh, be eligible. But a lot of people don't know about this program. So we're going to go ahead and apply. I'll walk you through. Uh, you can do this online. You can certainly mail things in. There's a there's a, uh, a instructions on how you can do that. Um, but it's really simple, really self-explanatory. Uh, name, birthday, Social Security last four, anyway, and linking that to your uh, address. And then you'll click yes or no, depending on if you qualify through your child or not. And we'll click next. And I'm actually filling this out myself, so I've taken out my, my own information. So we're kind of skipping around. By the way, this is a channel all about saving you time and money, so click that like button, subscribe, and share if you think somebody you know might benefit from saving 30 bucks a month. Hey, who doesn't, right? That's a pretty pretty sweet deal. You'll create a username and a password in the application. Again, click your language. I mean, it's all pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Very intuitive application design, which is a bit surprising for a government website, I would say. And once you create your national verifier account, whatever that is, uh, you can uh, re-enter your, your username and password. And you're going to go to something called not uh, Lifeline, but if you scroll down, make sure you click Affordability Connectivity Program, the ACP. Remember that. That's the one you want to do. Don't apply for the Lifeline application. That's something completely different. You want to apply to the ACP. Okay. You'll see the eligibility of the benefit uh, terms right there. Uh, the eligibility on the next page. We're actually going to click through and so, so this is where you tell the application basically uh, exactly how you qualify. Okay, so look through all of this. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to click the free and reduced school lunch program during these uh, academic years. Those are the, the years that my children attended a school in which that was offered. Uh, in other words, free lunch, uh, not because of low income, but just because of the COVID relief from the federal government. Uh, some schools were given that and all kids eat for free, uh, regardless of income status. So that is the big ticket eligibility item here for us that will save us 30 bucks a month. 
So again, we're going to click that, and you can select the actual school. Unfortunately, my children's school is not actually listed under there. So in that case, you're going to actually contact your school. You can maybe try going through your school's district portal for a... Uh, you basically need some a letter or something that says your kid is enrolled and this school, the name of the school, and that the school does receive this uh, free and reduced uh, lunch during those years. So we just uh, emailed our... Um, in fact, I, I, I tried doing a, a report from the from the actual uh, school's website and it got kicked back as not approved. So the document has to be official. So we just reached out to our school uh, principal and said, hey, can you whip this up for us? And then, you know, five days later, we had this letter that was quite official. You attach the letter to the application once you have that. So yes, you'll have to come back to this. Uh, and then uh, you just kind of sit back and wait. And it's you'd think you'd have to wait several days. Uh, once we had a letter uploaded and our application went through, we were we qualified within a few hours. We got an email that looks like this. So that was uh, super cool. And from there, what do you do? Okay, so you have this application. They're going to give you a number, an application number at the bottom of the email. You're going to call your internet company and give them that number, that application number, and boom, you are signed up. You will see a $30 discount every month until this program stops. Hopefully this has helped you out.